Hi everyone, this is Sin and welcome back to my channel Stampin' Munchkins. Today we are going to be hopping called Autumn Skies and Pumpkin Pies. We are hoping to bring the beautiful colors, smells and feelings of autumn straight to your home or wherever you're joining us from. We will do so in the form of fabulous home decor. At the top of my description box, you will find the link to the next person in the lineup. I hope you take the time to watch all hop videos because we love your comments and thumbs up. If you aren't already a subscriber, I hope you consider subscribing and click on the little bell so you won't miss any of my videos. You can also use hashtag autumn decor also in my description box. Some of us might be offering prices on our channels so be sure to pay attention for the details. On screen you have been seeing the project we're making today so let's get started. I will list everything below that I can find. I had this random canvas um, lying around the house so I thought it was a good idea to use it. I'm using this white gesso from Diane Wakely I believe and just a um, a wide brushed paintbrush that I had around and I'm putting the white gesso all over the canvas. I think the canvas might be 8 by 10. Um, again it's random so whatever I can find I'll link below for your easy shopping and I just put that all over the front and I wanted it to be white and I let it dry. Just a light coating. And then I have this chalk couture stencil um, I did this last year, maybe last year, I was like a um, consultant for like a hot minute and I have a bunch of these which I never use so I thought this would be a good idea to make a wreath. I'm using the paste in evergreen and the sque a small squeegee from Chocotore and I'm using washi tape because I don't want that EST established in the middle so I'm using washi tape to mask that off. And when I opened this jar, because it was so old, like over a year old, um, it was quite dry, but you can still use it. So I just grabbed some, put it on my Tim Holtz glass media mat. Oh, I'll show you that later. If you get a chance, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. It's already slightly tacky, so I just put it on the canvas and it stuck nicely. And you can reinvigorate any of the chalk couture paints, paste paints, by adding water. So that's what I did. I got it to the consistency that I want, which is like a thick yogurt. And I just um, placed it on through the, uh, so for the, on top of the stencil. And it worked out really um, nicely. And I like this color um, because it's a fall kind of green. And I needed a little more, so I sprayed a little more water. Start with a little water because you can always add, but it's hard to take off. So I just put it, glopped it on the um, wreath, and to be careful, um, I did it slowly, but it sped up here. And I just took it off and I cleaned it off. Now I'm going to be using the greetery um, stencils, and these are the alternate inks that I'll be using. And I'm just going to show you each colorway. So I just used the small, medium, and large um, pinwheel stencils, the standalone ones, because I wanted to cut them out using the coordinating die cuts. So what I did was each, um, this set and the orange set came with four ink colors. So I used the I, I label them one through four, one being the lightest, four being the darkest. And I did one and two, then I did three and four. And then I did two and four. So I have three each of each colorway. And um, I'm showing you the stencil. I did clean it off after each use, but um, after I, I didn't bother. If I was using the, because I did the light color first and then the darker color. So when I went from the light to the darker, I didn't clean it off, but I did clean it off when I used the um, a different colorway. So now that was uh, the smallest. This is the bigger um, stencil. And I'm just going 
to do it and then the for the one color and then take the stencil off and rotate it oh, you can see I'm, I'm I cleaned it off but rotate it and then you're covering what you already um, stenciled and now you're gonna stencil in between it's so easy to use and it's wonderful so I just kept doing this um, this is the orange and now I'm doing the green the green only came in three um, the fourth color was black and I didn't want to use black so I did one and two then I did two and three and then I did one and three I believe so I just kind of changed it around um, a little bit so for each colorway I have a small medium I'm sorry small medium and large so I have three each for a total of nine pinwheels which I will be adding to my canvas and this is the green I just wanted to show you the two different colors and I just chose what I thought would be autumn looking colors and I really really enjoy how it turned out this is the more um, yellow gold I think my favorite is the orange because I, I love orange it's one of my favorite colors <clears throat> excuse me so this is the lightest the one and two and then I did the three and four and then I did two and four I guess I'm going to show you everyone this is the the two and then I'll come with the darkest which is the four this is just the way I label it um, it's easier for me to remember so you can label yours however way you want and of course I use my Tim Holtz sponge blend so the die cut was hard to um, line up so what I did was I cut it out of white Nina solar white and all the blending was done on the Nina classic crest solar white in 80 pound so I made a template and now I put it over my stenciled image and that way I can just click the die into place and it will cut perfectly oh almost perfectly each time and I'm using my Gemini Junior to die cut it out as always and my Tim Holtz pick retractable pick so I'll do that for all nine and then I had these um, paper flowers lying around so I'm using them as an arrangement and I'm sticking them through the hole of the pinwheel as there's a big hole and I'm just cho I chose the colors that were f um, fall like so um, just kept m messing with it this took forever because flower arranging and flower arranging you know you can always keep judging with it right as Laura Bastin always says so this took a little while but um, this is the fun part the artistic part so I just did all of that and I left the wires on so that if I wanted to change anything I could and I just put a piece of washi tape on the back and then I cut the wire off so I um, will arrange them I didn't take the I didn't cut the wire off yet so I'm just arranging them how I want around the my um, green wreath and I that wreath um, it's completely dry I let it dry for a while before I started playing with it so now after the um, pinwheels I put random flowers to fill the space and that's the way I like it and I took a picture of it so I can remember my arrangement so now I'm going in with my wire cutters and I use these wire cutters also for my um, die cut to cut them apart and I have my little glue gun on the side and I'm just going to be using glue gun to attach these pieces after I cut the wires and I'm kind of and I'm kind of manipulating the pinwheel and the flowers so that they um, have a little dimension 
So then I'm just adding the hot glue and I'm using Gorilla Glue, um, which you can kind of see on the top, right? Which is pretty strong. Um, so I'm just using that, putting a huge dollop of it and adding it to my canvas. Now I wanted to put a sign which says, welcome home. And I'm using this Lawn Fawn Gold Dust cardstock. It has a pretty shimmer and Lawn Fawn Chocolate Bar Brown. And I'm stacking the brown um, to like two um two stack and then I'll be putting the gold on top offsetting it and I use my Xyron sticker maker to do this um, portion instead of glue and now I'm going to use the release paper from the Xyron to put my um, alphabet letters my letters um, using my T ruler which I taped down so I'm, I'm ensuring that it is straight and pretty even and I'll come with a blue painters tape and take that off and put that on the side and do the same with the home H O M E and I'm going to be um, probably sending this to my son and he is in Rhode Island now so I think he would appreciate this oh um, I want to show you that I took a lot of the tack off um, by putting it on the blue painters tape on my um, on my arm and I used my Tim or Ranger multi matte medium glue to glue it on and I let it stay there for a little while before I took the tape off so now it's the next day or well, the home I took off right away but the welcome was taking a little while to dry so I came the next day and took that blue tape off and it was stuck on good I hope you don't hear the rain it is just started pouring about a little while ago uh, it's been a really wet winter fall so far in Hawaii so anyway I have all these pretty um, jewels from pink fresh studio and I'm just putting them around where I like where I think I'd like them to go and then I'll be using my um, my glue my um, glossy accents to stick them on and I'm using my Tula pink tweezers my rainbow tweezers to um, to put them where I want it to go but these jewels are so pretty I use some of the clear I use some of the um, iridescent so they have two different finishes to them I know it's kind of far away but hopefully you can see it in the close-up pictures so I just randomly put them over all around I, I'm not sure if that was a good thing or not looks like it has chicken pox <laughs> you let me know what do you think should I have left it off or it looks okay with the um, jewels but here's the finished product I hope you enjoy it I had fun with it I never do home decor so this was a challenge and I really had fun with it so thank you Min for putting this hop together and that's it I hope you enjoyed and this is my um, video another video you might enjoy and a card making playlist and as always click on my face to subscribe thanks everyone aloha